I'm here today, I'm on a site where there's been an old windmill in its day. Obviously long gone now, but I'm here in search of the windmill. morning I think I can hear a sumo on the go I'm just gonna have a quick look around my permissions and see what I can find right, let's do it right, my permissions are not that far away from me they're just beyond my garden it's worth just a quick investigate. So see when I get there, fingers crossed, there's a sumo on the go. Alas, it's not a sumo. What well, really stirs it up, but it's it's good enough for me, it's breaking the soil up. It's just around a corner. I don't really want Filming at work, but you might just see him coming past me. I'm on my very local permission. We're going to have a go here. This particular field, I've done a bit of research in, and there's marked on it the site of an old mill. So I'm just going to have a little squeeze around where it's been stated there was a mill. Just to see how it goes come with me and we'll see what we can find and thanking you yes you my new subscribers Suffolk Sifter much appreciated and as usual your names will scroll from bottom to top at the end of the video and as usual if you the word winner as beside your name get in touch and there's a small gift for you please subscribe click the bell to get notifications and see you at the first hole okay here we go it's quite windy I've literally jumped on this field because I could hear the machine going and just over the hedge is um, the person responsible for breaking the ground up for me. Thanks very much. It's quite dry and very, very hard. So we're going to give it a best shot. According to the old map, there used to be a mill on here. so. Hopefully, we could find something. So, thanks for coming with us. And if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. I'm just heading up the hill because that's obviously where I think if there was a mill, that would be on a hill. Uh, I'm using a different program today uh, from Hunter One, and uh, I've named it, you guessed it, Hunter Two. It's going to be hopefully deeper and a bit faster than Hunter One. So, it's the first outing for Hunter Two. So fingers crossed for good things. Well, it feels not actually buzzing with signals, but the first signal was a <laughs> tractor wheel nut, but I've got a, um, it's an 83, but it's not really a nice tight line. But I'll dig it anyway. It does grunt a bit, but it does tail off ground is quite hard right hopefully it's in that clod here somewhere let's get the coil right it's probably just a bit of a scrap just one up from scrap, it's a buckle. Commonwealth Garden buckle, buckle. Uh, got a good signal. 79, uh, just a button. But a, a nice intact button. Signal you got you got to dig. 
that's coming at 76 nice tight line but in reality you don't have to dig for it at all because look at that nice and shiny not sure on the caliber but it's only been fired a while back isn't it okay people said well show your finds as you dig them this is a I think it's just a tiddly bit of good, a good scrap. Tiddly bit of good scrap. There you go, nothing remarkable. Dig this, that's an 87. Uh, that was a coin, but mm, sort of dished. Um, I thought, well, spoon, no. Uh, Tiny little bit at the top, it looks like there could have been something on there. I haven't got a clue. Yep, just a, an oval dish thing, not sure if it's got any detail on it. Can't see anything. But there's been some interesting glass here, for those interested in glass. Looks like one of the old screw stoppers. You can see the thread inside the neck. And this little thing, again, haven't got a clue. There is something on there. But no, just a nice shape. No idea what it's for. Don't know the exact location of this windmill, but I've just started coming across tile, roof tile. So maybe on the right direction. Just not sure. And amongst tile and bottle stuff just start finding a load of this blue maybe a pot or cup still on the trail of the windmill just lies only really I don't know what it is it's just a bit of tin but it's got decoration on it so who knows well, I'm heading on back to the truck. I already had about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, got a nice sort of signal down. I could just see something. I don't know whether it is that or not. It's down in there. Yeah, it's a ninja star. Nice signal, I dare say it's just a bit of decorative. Oh, was I treated to another piece of uh, junk? 94, 93. Let's have a look, see if I can get the spade in. Luckily on the headlands, it's been gone over twice, so that's a bit more loose. It's down there somewhere. I think it's rubbish. I've got a view of it. Well, there it is, look. It's round. It's got dirt on it. But, is it a button? No. It's not a button. I think it's some sort of token. And it's got detail. Let me give it a spritz and I'll get back to you. Okay, it's not a coin. Well, I think it's a token. Now, I've taken a picture, I've blown it up, and I'm, it says Ipswich Farthing 1670. And on the back, it looks like a shield with a line on the left and three somethings on the right. But there you go, not bad. Some sort of token. Well, there you have it. Uh, just had an hour or so 
found your usual stuff, buttons, lots of lead or blobbies as I like to call them, funny little catch things, uh, decorative bits and the happy ending at the end was that little token. Now that was the probably the find of the day, the little Ipswich trade token I think, 1670. So that's all good, thanks for coming with me. Alas, we didn't find the windmill but there's tiles and bits of pottery and stuff and some interesting glass. Maybe the site, it's the site where the old map said it was but it's been long gone and it's been long ploughed over. You might find some stuff, you never know.